Goshen Community Schools serves 6,200 students in a small urban area. We are a majority minority district with a 56% student population that is Hispanic. Over 50% of our students on free and reduced lunch. About 25% of our students are English language learners and about 16% special ed. Goshen really wanted to try to figure out how to recruit and retain their most effective educators. And so we started a relationship with them on how to provide an opportunity for educators to grow into a pipeline, as well as receive additional support and performance-based compensation to try to retain them in the profession. We see very specific examples of how career teachers have become mentor and master teachers, who have now become assistant principals and principals, who also now hold district leadership positions. Because we have so many administrators at our district office who have been through and are familiar with the NIET structures, it's very powerful. They have not only lived it, but they've also been part of that structure of, here's what we need to do to make sure that our current mentor teachers, our current master teachers, also feel that there's a pathway toward leadership. We, at the district level, are in the schools daily to provide support for our principals through learning walks, attending cluster, attending ILT meetings, helping them plan for their meetings. Educators want to come to Goshen because they see the potential of what the professional development will offer them. I live 40 minutes away out of district and had offers from that district, but ultimately I made the decision to come here to Goshen Community Schools because I loved the teamwork and the way that I was going to be challenged our own students return to us as professional teachers and they come back for that same reason. They love to be part of that supportive, collaborative environment that's established through that NIET framework. I know something that we talked about this morning is when we start to feel frustrated or overwhelmed at school, what's something you use to help calm you down? Drawing. You use drawing and art. In school, I was instructed under the TAP rubric, and then I went to college and I learned how to be an educator using the TAP rubric, and now being a teacher and being evaluated and using the TAP rubric in my lesson planning, it just shows that the rubric works. Seeing the way that my teachers taught at Goshen made me want to teach here. I saw really phenomenal examples of educators that were working hard to improve themselves and to improve their teaching in order to better meet the needs of every student that they had. And that really inspired me to want to do the same. And not only have they taken on NIET's core structures and tools, they have thought about new ways and innovative ways to structure themselves to better support what's happening in their schools. One example would be their Friday morning meetings. The district leaders plan and deliver those meetings intentionally designed around student needs, and then the school and teacher leaders take those action steps back to the building and implement next steps. All of that allows the work across the district to be aligned, which ultimately then results in Goshen being a leader across the state. As an NIT district partner, it's imperative that we are present in our um, structures and processes so that we are modeling and supporting for our teachers and our students the best practices that we know we need to have in our classrooms to support student outcomes. When your teachers feel supported from the district level down, then your students start to feel supported and the parents feel supported. Professional development, the mentoring, the extra sessions with the teachers, that's huge. It helps a parent to feel confident in the fact that the teachers um, are well prepared to meet student needs at different levels. They emphasize the, you're not the only learners here in the classroom, we're learning as well alongside you. Stand up if you have at least three characters. One of my teachers, Mrs. Yoder, is like a mentor for other teachers. She goes to their class, to like see like how they're like teaching and gives them like tips on like how to like do it like better, more efficiently. Whenever his friends don't get stuff, he teaches them. He goes like, I teach them, but I don't tell them the answer, he says. And I go like step by step so until they get it. So I think he gets that from the teachers, you know. NIET empowers all of us. It empowers building leaders. They empower teachers, which then empowers our students. That's where we see growth. You hear it takes a village to raise a child. It also takes a village to grow strong educators and support them and sustain them. That's one of the things that the framework has done for us, is created that village. Goshen Community Schools has been in a relationship with NIT for a long time, and that relationship has grown and morphed and become stronger and stronger. 
We come in with kind of a missionary zeal to be doing our very best we can for every single student every day because we have a moral, ethical obligation to do that, but we also know that that changes the trajectory of our students' lives.